What is going on guys, Evan here with McGee TV, aka the freshest of all the YouTube gamers, bringing y'all another video, and in today's video, as y'all can see once again, I got that NBA 2K18 fire for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Now, shouts out to y'all man, like for real, shouts out to y'all, because I was checking YouTube today, like, not even on some like, even like checking for this type shit, like I really just went to check our YouTube, check my notifications, and I see hella subscribers, I look at our page man, and we've got 270 subscribers now I know that may not seem like a lot but man you got to think about starting from absolutely nothing on YouTube when we started McGee TV we didn't have anyone you know what I'm saying like friends up in us like oh we we're your homeboys you know what I'm saying so we're gonna look out for you we didn't have any of that we have been starting straight from scratch you know what I mean so it means a lot to us to get to this point even though you know what I'm saying like I like I said it, it doesn't seem like a lot but you know what I'm saying that's 270 people that were so entertained by us that they hit the subscribe button you know what I mean and thought it would be a good idea to you know stay around for all of our content now I also want to tell you guys I really 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 appreciate y'all showing so much love on my jump shot video for patch 6 as I completely just blew that floater right there but y'all showed a lot of love man y'all showed a lot of love right now I'm sitting at about 1.6k views make sure man if you guys are looking for a good jump shot and have not checked out that video yet that you guys head over to that video right now the link will be in the description and check that out because I promise you you will not regret checking out that jump shot with that being said man in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do floaters very very easily now I understand that when I made my video the other day on how to get a lot of XP at one time I somehow some way forgot to include how to do floaters like I kind of just assumed that people knew and maybe I shouldn't because I had a couple people ask me why every time I go to the paint and pull back on the stick like they've said like I've even changed it to absolute so I can pull back and I'm still not doing any floaters and it's really it's really just I forgot to mention that you stop sprinting when you're uh, coming in from the baseline or you know coming into the paint however however you're doing it whatever direction you're coming from like I completely forgot to mention that you don't sprint and so a lot of people <laughs> said it helped a lot when I said that and that was a bonehead move by me you know what I'm saying like I, I really should have mentioned that so in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys not only how to do the floaters, how to trigger it, but the exact time to release and the exact time to start the floater. Now, as always, guys, before we start the video, it is imperative that I let y'all know if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. Just click subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and man, turn on that notification button and join Notification Squad. That way, you guys will never, ever miss an upload. Now, let's get into it. Like I said in my last video, for the most efficient floater package, change your layup package to unathletic small. I promise y'all will not regret it at all. So there's actually a couple of different floaters that you guys can shoot um, when you have this layup package. I mean, of course, you're going to have like your regular pull up floaters. But the main one when you're using this package that you're going to want to try to use is this really cheese one that I'm about to show you in this clip right here. So if you guys watch my guide on how to level up really, really fast, You'll know that I already told you guys to do a hesitation to the left and then do a crossover to the right and you'll get past the defense. Now as you guys can see, this is a pretty nice little floater. It's damn near unguardable, but the question is, you know, how did I actually trigger this? Now if you run this pick and roll and do your dribble drive perfectly, you're going to blow by this defender every time. Even though he's defending me a little bit, I'm blowing right by him. Right when you get about right there, you want to let go of the sprint button and either pull back on the stick if you're on absolute or pull right on the stick if you are camera relative the stick being the right stick the pro as you can see it is extremely extremely easy um, you pretty much blow by the defender every time and I mean guys it's cheese like it's it slides people right out of the way and you get an easy layup 
Now in this clip, as you'll see, I did have somebody come into the paint, so I pulled up just a little bit earlier than I normally would. Now I would only recommend doing this if you're on like if you have Hall of Fame um, teardropper, but when you pull out from just a little bit farther, as you guys can see right there, you actually start your floater from a little bit further away. But if you're on Hall of Fame, this should be no big problem. You should make this relatively every time you'll probably make it like eight out of ten times as you guys saw in that one clip earlier i was defended and it just kind of got completely blown but like i said before man that's it's, it's really really easy all you want to do is pull back or right right when you hit about that point when you see it defended like that if you're not going to pull up for a uh, a dribble pull up shot and like i said man it, it's relatively easy man like it's all you got to do is make sure you're letting go of sprint right before you pull up for your release. And it'll be cash pretty much 8 out of 10 times. And there you go, y'all. It's that simple. That's how you do floaters. It's basically what you guys saw me do before, except you just really got to make sure that you're letting go of that sprint button at the exact perfect time. But aside from that, man, that's it. Get out there on the court, man. Grind and get, get your rep up there. Now... Comment down below if you guys did find this video helpful and don't forget to leave a like on the video and comment down below if the if the uh, grinding method that I showed you guys has been working for you. Now if, it, if you have not tried it yet, check the link down below. There's going to be a couple different links and check out that video and get out there and grind. Comment down below. Also, what overall are you guys? I'm interested to know. How far are you in your grind? How many characters do you have? This is actually my second character and he's already 90 overall. He wasn't at the time that I recorded this video, but he is a 90 overall. And uh, I've done that completely with that method. I leveled him a lot faster than I did my first guy. Also, going to put my PS4 in the description below. I'm looking for different people to play Park, Pro-Am, things like that with. So make sure you guys add me. Just send me a message and let me know that you're from YouTube. Now, shout out the guy that added me on, uh, on PlayStation Network the other day. Um, I don't want to say his name because I don't want y'all to spam him or anything like that. Um, but... Shout out to you, man. I know you've been trying to play Park. I've just been working on these videos and stuff, but we're going to play real, real soon. I want to I wanna get a big group of people and run some, uh, some walk-on pro-am <clears throat> with some subscribers. So make sure you guys are adding me, man. I'm going to put it down below in the description of the video. And that should pretty much do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification button, as I said earlier, so you guys will never, ever miss an upload. And it's going to be the freshest of all the YouTube gamers signing out. I'm going to see you all for the next video.